Okay, so this is a review of the um, 2021 model, I think it is, um, Acer A515-44. Um, there's three or four different variants with different processors. Um, I was going to go for the Ryzen 7 option, um, but they were out of stock. Uh, so I went for the Ryzen 5 option instead, which has got a slightly lesser graphics chip on it uh, and not quite as quick a um, core speed on the, on the processor. But it's literally about 8% slower than that one so it's not too bad and it's 100 pound less as well um i bought this from uh, pc world for uh, 5.4999 um to be fair i've had it for a few hours been a good play with it um it looks pretty good system to be fair it's nice and quick uh, i'll run you through a few specs uh so it's got the ryzen 5 4500u processor um a lot of the ryzen 5s are the four uh sorry 3700u which is a lot slower you're better off going for a higher higher as you can really on this um definitely get more power out of it uh you get eight gig of ddr4 ram and that runs at 3.2 gigahertz so it's nice and quick as well um amd radeon graphics built in so there's no separate graphics card or anything so it's not going to blow anyone away with gaming performance which i'll, but I'll show you a, a 3d uh, well, a benchmark with 3d scores on there in a minute um it's got a ssd hard drive as most uh, new laptops obviously have this is a 512 gig version so it's nice and decent decent size um it's also an nvme uh, nvme as well like the newest style um like the playstation 5 sort of uh type so it's nice and quick as well um it's got nice fast internet it's the quickest internet i've seen on a laptop to be fair for quite a while um you open a page it's literally straight there and i've downloaded a 400 meg um file earlier on um literally in about three seconds honestly but i've got quite a good internet connection here but it's it is very quick for wi-fi uh battery seems good it's only a three cell battery rather than a six um but it seems to perform well it also says up to about 10 hours battery life obviously that's never quite right whenever you're using it but it's about uh, i'd say it's a good six or seven hours worth without going flat which is good news um and it's got a 15.6 inch screen uh, ips screen so it's not uh, it's not a va screen but it's ips um, which is good anyway, it's not too bad. It's got a few little bits of washed out colour on the blue side of things, which I probably can play with, and I'll check in the Radeon settings. Um, okay, I'll run you through some options. So first things first, uh, we've got this power cable, which, to be honest, is... It's all right, but I've, I've thought this, this pin here, it's a little, bit, uh, a little bit flimsy, so if you did pull it by mistake, so if you got it caught on your leg or something while you're trying to move it about, uh, it's a bit... Um, it's a bit flimsy to be fair that's one thing it's a bit uh, not so good uh spec wise we have a network port on there obviously a gigabit ethernet uh, you've got hdmi two usb 3.1s i think they are a usb c there uh, you've also got usb 2 as well somewhere's another usb over there i think that's usb 2 uh obviously an audio jack and all the usual stuff there's no cd drive no dvd drive on here um I think a lot of the sort of budget, uh, high budget range, so to speak, um, just ditch those now because everyone's using USBs and and uh, streaming and Bluetooth and stuff. Obviously, it's got Bluetooth on here. Um, we have obviously it says there Ryzen five four thousand series. There you go. Right, so I've done a benchmark. Um, a lot of people have mentioned as well. This touchpad is a little bit, um, well, it's it's all right, but it's a it's a bit weird it's, it's not quite as good as what i'd expect it's not actually that responsive i actually use a mouse anyway normally i haven't got one plugged in right this second because i thought i'd better show you what it's like without one um it's it's all right it's it's it does its job you say you can see obviously it does its normal stuff but it, every now and then it just flicks off randomly on its own it's a bit weird uh, a few people have mentioned that on reviews and things uh benchmark scores um obviously it's more for desktop using um things like kids homework uh various other bits and bobs it won't it's not great for 3d gaming um but i'll show you what uh what sort of benchmark scores it's getting because i did one of those earlier uh interesting feature interesting issue was uh i did a benchmark first before updating drivers and windows um and it came up with a score of the desktop score of 76 percent um with a gaming score of i think 14 um 
and I think the workstation, I think it was 15, I think it was just under 15 or 16. So I've updated all the drivers, updated all, I mean, not out of the box, it's pretty much up to date, but I've updated the drivers, um, especially the Radeon one. For some reason, the Radeon settings, they turned off the GPU scaling um, and a few other bits in the Radeon settings because it's, it's like a, a light version, basically. Uh, I would definitely recommend turning those on. Uh, it's in here, so if you go to that, and then the ADM, AMD Radeon Lights uh, settings um, system in here, was it in the system? I where it was now. I found it yesterday. Gaming, is it gaming? No, video. No, I can't remember where it was now. <laughs> display, oh, display. Um, if you turn on GPU scaling, uh, not that it should really affect things much, but GPU scaling uh, and um, the super resolution, for some reason that bumps up the score from, well, it's not going to blow anything away, as I say, but it bumps up the score from 8.68%, uh, which it was on there before, on the graphics, to 12.1, it appears. Um, whether that was because the driver was upgraded as well, I'm not sure, but something worked anyway and it was it was that's all i changed um yeah spec wise so the processor itself is getting a very good score it's saying that's uh 82.9 gaming score possibly if it's with the 3d gaming cars it's, it's suitable for games kind of <laughs> uh, it's not designed for it um but literally everything else any kind of processing tasks uh, if you're using it for um word processing internet stuff like that, it flies by flies through it literally um, if, I, if I open, say, another tab, well, I'll, I'll open something in a minute when I've come past this, but I'll, uh, I'll show you how quick it is. And on boot up as well and shut down. Um, the hard drive is a um, Hynix drive, 512 gig. Um, that's, getting, that's getting some really good reviews as well. You've probably seen those. Um, it's getting a, a score of 200% uh, on the benchmark test there. Um, it's quick, to be honest. It is a quick drive. It's, it's not overly expensive. I think they're about 65, 70 quid a shot, and they're really not that expensive. But uh, it's all, it's all right. Um, it's a really good drive. Uh, eight gig of RAM. So it's, that's running at three point two gigahertz. That's over here. Um, yeah, that's pretty straightforward. That's plenty, really. You can, you can upgrade it. There's, there's room to upgrade it. It's up to twenty four gig. Uh, I'm not sure why I'd ever need it really on this particular machine. But there you go. Um, Okay, obviously if I if I go like say to YouTube, let's say, just straight there, no messing about. There's literally nothing. Uh, Facebook, let's say, pretty much straight there. Same again, literally. Um, so it's, it, it is it's a fast machine to be honest. If you're using it for general normal tasks, it is quick. It really is quick. Um, okay, so I'll do a shutdown. Show you how that how quick that is literally shutting down to be honest yesterday it flew see that's how quick it is it just literally shuts down like that straight away so if i do a cold start there's also quite a cool feature there's a fingerprint recognition uh, i've already set that up so you can actually literally log straight in power button weirdly isn't on the side or anything it's on here little power button there um on the higher spec model the one with the ryzen 7 the keyboard lights up as well with some white lights but uh, this one doesn't which is a bit of a unfortunate thing because I would have quite liked that to be fair. You can see how quick it lights up. I'll go for the fingerprint. Straight in, no problem. So within a few seconds literally you can be from cold boot straight up to um straight up to using your machine quick as that literally. Uh, I'm not sure what else you'd need to be fair without uh without going into gaming and stuff it's it's ideal for most tasks uh, anybody who's looking at like a machine for um just general tasks around the house sort of thing or um work wise it should be perfectly fine um but yeah that's basically the acer acer uh, laptop there the a515 so any comments feel free if you want to test anything i will do uh if you've you got any comments about what i could use to improve things maybe um feel free to subscribe or leave any comments and uh yeah cheers for watching